All right, something a little bit different today. We have a boxer trencher. Complaint was a no crank, no start. Dug into it, found a little bit of wiring issues, uh, custom wiring that had to be corrected. After that, we still had problems. Starter turned out to be bad. The brand new starter they just put on actually was bad. But I also had seven or eight volts coming up through this. Uh, this is the wire that actuates the starter solenoid. It's the signal wire, basically. So, checked key switch. Key switch was good. It wasn't sending power to the starter all the time. Uh, took the cover off the engine. This is a Kohler Command Pro V-Twin 20.5 horse. And traced it back. We have this 5-pin connector. The starter solenoid wire actually goes into these two wires. One of these goes back into the hot with key on circuit. And there's a diode right here. So the theory behind this, as I understand it basically, is the starter solenoid, when that magnetic field collapses, when you turn the starter off, in other words, when you start the engine and then you let the key go back to just the, the run position, um, that magnetic field in the solenoid collapses, that allows a voltage spike to go back through this signal wire and to stop it from hitting the key switch, which can cause it to arc and wear it out or something like that, I think. I think that's how it works. To stop it from going back there, and instead allows it to go up through here into the regular hot while running circuit. And because you want it to go into that circuit, but you don't want that circuit to power up the solenoid, because you don't want your starter spinning when it's just in the on position, when the key is in the on position, you have a diode here to let it just go one way. It goes from the solenoid into the hot circuit, but it will never go from the hot circuit into the solenoid when it's working. That diode had failed. It was allowing the hot circuit to power the starter solenoid when the key was not in the start position. I think that's what toasted their old starter um, or the, the brand new one that they put on. So we got a new starter on and then I put a new diode in here. I couldn't find uh, from Kohler like a specification for this diode. I don't know exactly what one you're supposed to use. It looked identical to these ones that you can just get in packs on Amazon. Uh, these are uh, 1N4007, I think. I will correct that on the screen if that's wrong. Um, 1N4007 rectifier diodes thousand volt one amp and that seems to be doing the trick uh everything is is working correctly now um note about these diodes when you install them obviously i just cut out the old one and spliced in a new one with uh these connectors if we look very closely at these we will see a little gray stripe on one end that is the end that is the uh outlet of the diode basically so you have it go from the um <clears throat> from the uh it allows current to go from the not striped end to the striped end that's what you need to know so when we wire it in we want it to go from the solenoid to the hot circuit so the striped end of the diode will be facing the hot circuit Okay, and if you get it backwards, then you will be constantly powering on that solenoid. You'll have the same issue. Anyway, uh, like I said, I do not know if this is exactly the correct diode. And as such, I have to say, hey, this is uh, entertainment purposes, whatever. Don't uh, breathe without your doctor's permission. Proceed at your own risk. You do whatever you want to do. This is not advice. But anyway, that's what I did. It's working and uh, good luck fixing it however you decide to fix it. Y'all have a good one.